We are continuing to follow these new details this morning on an officer involved shooting in the Lynchburg area. Police now say that two incidents we first reported last night at 11 are connected. They involve a shooting that injured an officer and a suspect and a string of crimes. They describe a chaotic chase after one shooting and later a shootout between the suspect and police. Police say this man, 53 year old Tony Kidd of Campbell County, shot one officer. That officer's injuries are not considered life threatening. Kidd is in critical condition this morning after police shot him in that shootout. Here's more on what police are saying this morning. They give a timeline of events. Friday night, police arrested Kidd for assault and battery in Campbell County in the Evington community. He was released on bond. Then just after midnight yesterday morning, Campbell County deputies were investigating a car break in and spoke to the homeowners. They did not find the suspect. Later that morning, deputies went back to that same house. They found 69 year old Robin Chenault dead and a 65 year old man suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. They're not saying how the woman died. They also did not give an update or release the name of the man. Police say kid is a suspect in that shooting. Then Saturday afternoon around one Lynchburg police got a call and found kid driving an SUV and pointing a gun in some at someone. Kid led them on a chase south into Campbell County. He then crashed around this location. This is in the area of Chandler's Mountain Road and Sunny Mead Road. There was a shootout with police. Kid and one officer were shot. An LPD canine was also injured. State police and the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries assisted. Lynchburg police have asked Virginia State Police to investigate from here. The LPD said in a statement, quote, Lynchburg police officers, along with the assisting officers from these other agencies, showed commendable courage and resiliency in the face of a rapidly evolving, life-threatening events, end quote. We're continuing to follow this story. To receive the latest updates when we're not on air, you can visit our website, WSLS.com, or download our 10 News mobile app.